What if the cure to one of the deadliest diseases on earth isn't hidden in a lab, but growing in your backyard? This humble weed, sprayed, stomped, and ignored, may have the power to destroy up to 95% of cancer cells, without harming healthy ones. A stubborn little weed, often yanked from gardens and sprayed with chemicals, may hold the power to kill up to 95% of cancer cells, naturally, gently, and without destroying the rest of your body. That plant is dandelion. Yes, the same yellow flower we've been taught to ignore or destroy has been used for centuries in traditional medicine. And now, even modern science is taking notice. In this video, we're going to explore how dandelion root is helping people fight back against colon, skin, blood, pancreatic, and even breast cancer. We'll uncover ancient wisdom, scientific research, powerful testimonies, and show you exactly how to use it, safely and effectively. Because sometimes, healing comes from the most unexpected places. Traditional and historical background of dandelion. Long before the dandelion was dismissed as a backyard nuisance, it was revered as a sacred healing herb across continents and cultures. In traditional Chinese medicine, dandelion, known as Pu Gong Ing, has been used for over a thousand years to treat infections, abscesses, liver issues, and even breast inflammation. It was prized for clearing heat, reducing toxins, and supporting the liver's detoxifying power. In Ayurveda, the ancient Indian system of natural medicine, dandelion was valued for its bitter taste, a taste associated with detox, digestion, and spiritual clarity. Healers used it to cleanse the blood, support the spleen, and treat skin diseases. The root was often dried and ground into powders or steeped into herbal tonics. In Native American healing, dandelion was a powerful remedy for digestive disturbances, kidney issues, and general malaise. Tribes from coast to coast used the whole plant, root, leaves, and flower as a panacea, a cure-all that could be harvested from the wild with respect and intention. Among Native American tribes, dandelion root was revered for its blood-purifying and healing properties. The Cherokee, for instance, used it to treat stomach problems and to promote overall wellness. The Iroquois boiled the leaves and roots into teas for sore throats and even as a compress for swelling and skin diseases. By the time dandelion reached European folk medicine, it was already well known as a spring tonic. Herbalists prescribed it to clear the blood, flush the kidneys, stimulate bile flow, and boost energy after long winters of heavy food and sluggish digestion. Even in early Western medicine, dandelion had a seat at the table. In the 1800s and early 1900s, it was officially listed in the U.S. Pharmacopeia as a treatment for liver and digestive disorders. Physicians prepared dandelion tinctures, decoctions, and poultices for a wide range of ailments. Across Europe, dandelion was considered both food and medicine. Monks and folk healers used it as a spring tonic, a natural cleanser to awaken the body after a long winter. It helped flush out excess water, improve bile flow, and support digestion. People would eat the young leaves in salads and use the root as a liver remedy or coffee substitute. What's striking is that across all these cultures, dandelion was not feared, it was trusted. It wasn't seen as invasive, it was seen as instructive, reminding humans that healing was always nearby, often growing at their feet. This isn't a coincidence. This is tradition backed by centuries of lived experience, passed down in stories, in rituals, and in remedies. Dandelion's legacy didn't begin with lab tests, it began with trust in the wisdom of nature. What's fascinating is how many different cultures, separated by geography and language, arrived at the same conclusion, that the dandelion had the power to cleanse, strengthen, and restore. These traditions weren't based on randomized clinical trials. They were based on observation, experience, and results, the oldest form of science there is. The recurring theme? Dandelion was not just a weed, it was medicine, a plant ally, a protector of health. The science behind the claim, dandelion and cancer cells. Today, we live in a world obsessed with data and clinical trials, and rightly so. So, what does modern science have to say about dandelion root's remarkable effects on cancer cells? In 2011, researchers at Windsor University in Canada published a study that turned heads in the medical community. 
they discovered that dandelion root extract induced apoptosis. That's a natural process of programmed cell death in cancer cells. What made this discovery so extraordinary was that dandelion root appeared to target cancer cells only, leaving healthy cells unharmed. The study showed significant results with leukemia and melanoma cells, with up to 95% of the cancer cells dying off within 48 hours. The researchers observed that the extract caused the cancer cells to essentially commit suicide, while healthy cells continued to function normally. That kind of selective targeting is something modern chemotherapy often struggles with. Since then, further studies have emerged. In 2016, a team published findings showing that dandelion root extract could inhibit the growth of pancreatic cancer cells, one of the most difficult types of cancer to treat. Another study demonstrated promising results in cases of colon cancer and breast cancer, suggesting a broader spectrum of impact than previously thought. What's behind this potent anti-cancer action? Scientists believe that the secret lies in the phytochemicals and antioxidants found in dandelion root. These include terexasterol, luteolin, chicoric acid, and inulin, each of which has shown promise in slowing tumor growth, reducing inflammation, and improving immune response. It's important to note that most of these studies are in vitro or animal-based, meaning they were conducted in test tubes or on animals, not humans. But the results have been encouraging enough to spark clinical trials and integrative medicine approaches in some parts of the world. The takeaway? While dandelion root is not a substitute for medical treatment, it may very well serve as a complementary ally in the body's fight against cancer. Nature doesn't operate in absolutes, but it often holds keys we haven't yet fully understood. Real-life testimonies and case studies. For every study published in a journal, there are thousands of real people whose lives echo the findings long before science catches up. The story of dandelion root and its healing properties is not only told in laboratories but also in living rooms, herbal clinics, and kitchens around the world. Take the case of John DiCarlo, a 72-year-old man from Canada. After exhausting all conventional treatment options for acute myeloid leukemia, he was sent home for palliative care. Doctors told him he had only weeks left. In a final effort, his family gave him dandelion root tea, twice daily. Within four months, his cancer went into complete remission. His case became the inspiration for clinical research at Windsor University. In online support groups and natural health communities, dozens of similar stories surface. People with colon cancer, skin tumors, and even pancreatic cancer have reported improved blood markers, tumor shrinkage, or overall well-being after incorporating dandelion root into their routines. Of course, not every testimony is a miracle. Many use it alongside other herbal protocols. But across the board, patients describe better energy, less nausea, and improved appetite, signs the body is responding well. Herbalists like Dr. Patrick Quillen, a nutritionist and cancer recovery expert, often include dandelion root in integrative cancer protocols. According to him, it's one of the safest and most effective detoxifiers available and works particularly well when paired with other immune-boosting herbs. Then there's the testimony of healers, those who work closely with plants. They tell stories of skin lesions fading, inflammation disappearing, and liver markers improving after steady use of dandelion. These aren't just anecdotes, they are living data, the kind our ancestors always trusted. And while science may need more trials to confirm what they experienced, the stories of healing can't be ignored. Sometimes, the best proof isn't found in a lab. It's found in the lives that have been changed. If you're finding this eye-opening, give this video a like. It tells YouTube this is worth sharing. And stay tuned, because we'll show you exactly how to prepare and use dandelion root at home. What makes dandelion root potent? Key Compounds the secret behind dandelion root's cancer-fighting potential lies in its natural chemical profile. Unlike pharmaceutical drugs that rely on isolated compounds, dandelion root contains a synergistic blend of active ingredients that work in harmony to support the body. One of the most studied compounds is terexasterol, a powerful triterpenoid known for its anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. Research shows that terexasterol can suppress the growth of tumor cells by inhibiting inflammation, one of the key drivers of cancer progression. 
Then there's luteolin, a plant flavonoid found in dandelion root. Luteolin acts as a natural antioxidant, scavenging free radicals that damage healthy cells and contribute to chronic disease. It also interferes with cancer cell signaling pathways, essentially telling these harmful cells to stop multiplying. Another key player is chicoric acid. This antioxidant compound is believed to support the immune system, improve insulin sensitivity, and slow the spread of malignant cells. Some studies suggest chicoric acid may also help the body respond more effectively to oxidative stress, which is often elevated in people battling cancer. Dandelion root is also rich in inulin, a prebiotic fiber that nourishes healthy gut bacteria. A strong gut microbiome is closely linked to a strong immune response, which is vital when the body is fighting off cancer or recovering from treatment. What makes these compounds even more powerful is how they work together. Rather than attacking cancer with a single agent, dandelion root supports the whole system, detoxifying the liver, cleansing the blood, boosting immunity, and interrupting cancer's growth cycle. Nature doesn't create medicine in isolation. It creates whole plants with complex chemistry. And in the case of dandelion root, those compounds offer a toolbox of healing that modern science is only beginning to understand. How to use dandelion root, tea and topical paste dandelion roots healing power isn't just hidden in a lab. It's accessible, affordable, and simple to prepare right in your own kitchen. The most traditional method is dandelion root tea. It's gentle, effective, and easy to make. How to prepare the tea? Take one to two teaspoons of dried, chopped dandelion root. Add it to one cup of boiling water. Cover and simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Strain and drink warm. For those battling chronic illness or seeking to detox the body, I often recommend drinking one teacup twice daily, ideally on an empty stomach in the morning and evening. Some people also add a slice of ginger or lemon to boost the cleansing effect. For deeper therapeutic benefit, especially when dealing with something like cancer, many prefer to use a decoction. That simply means boiling the root a bit longer, around 20 to 30 minutes, to extract more of the medicinal compounds. For external application, dandelion root can be made into a paste to be applied directly on the skin. This method is used particularly for skin cancers, cysts, or inflammatory lesions. To make a paste, grind fresh or dried dandelion root into a powder. Mix with a small amount of warm water or castor oil to form a thick paste. Apply to the affected area and cover with a clean cloth or bandage. Leave on for one to two hours or overnight. Repeat daily. Whether you sip it as tea or apply it as a poultice, the beauty of dandelion is in its versatility. And unlike synthetic treatments, it often comes with no harsh side effects, just gentle, persistent healing over time. Here are some precautions, interactions, and cautions you need to consider. While dandelion root is generally safe, especially in tea form, it's important to be mindful of individual conditions. If you have gallbladder issues, bile duct blockage, or acute ulcers, consult your healthcare provider before use. It may also interact with diuretics, blood pressure medications, or blood thinners due to its natural potassium content and mild detoxifying effect. Consult your doctor before using dandelion root if you're on medications, especially blood thinners or diuretics, to avoid interactions. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should avoid therapeutic doses unless under professional guidance. As always, start with small amounts, observe your body, and choose natural healing wisely. Conclusion, the weed that heals in a world filled with synthetic drugs, harsh chemicals, and expensive treatments, the humble dandelion reminds us that nature still works. We know the medical world is skeptical. We know they dismiss what they don't fund. But for those who have nothing left to lose, the testimonies speak louder than any trial. From ancient traditions to modern science, from whispered stories to documented studies, the evidence is clear. This resilient weed carries within it the power to nourish, cleanse, and perhaps even fight cancer at its root. Let the evidence of life be louder than silence. Let hope speak. Let nature heal. Dandelion root is an ally, one that works with your body, not against it. One that restores balance, purifies gently, and asks for nothing but consistency and faith.
Maybe the answers we seek aren't hidden in distant labs but growing quietly in the cracks of sidewalks and backyards, waiting to be noticed again. Nature heals. And sometimes, it begins with a weed. To everyone battling cancer, don't give up. There is power in your faith. There is strength in your body. And there is healing in the garden. Be consistent. Be patient. Believe in the power of God's natural medicine. Have you or someone you know used dandelion root for healing? Share your story in the comments. Your voice might inspire someone else's breakthrough. The Herbal Nexus. Because nature never gave up on us.